Hey guys, I'm gonna wait for some of you to come on, but while I'm waiting for you all to come on, today is July, what's today's date? July 28th, it's a Thursday. Um, today we're gonna talk about, it's July 28th, 2016. Today we're gonna talk about Keisha Knight Pullman. Uh, but before we do that, I first want to, and I don't think I've ever done this on video, I want to thank everyone for trusting me with their readings. Um, those of you that have gotten readings from me, you can testify, like, I get some amazing responses of change, thank you, I feel so much better, you know, like, I resonate well with people's soul, like, deep within their core, core. Um, I do the celebrity readings because they're fun and accurate. They're very accurate. But I'm so thankful that I do this for a living. And I'm thankful that I'm touching people. And I know that I'm touching people. Okay? Like, I know what I do. <laughs> but it's just such a good feeling to have it come back to me because the responses that I get from people is that I've changed you know, their anxiety, I've changed their worry, and at the end of the reading, I'm always like even more at peace, because what I'm doing right feels so good, it feels good to my soul. So, with that being said, thank you for trusting me, everyone. Now, let's get down to the dirty business of cheating and lying and who's the daddy? Who really is the daddy? Is there a daddy? <laughs> now, I am not Maury Povich. Um, but I can tell you, I can tell you if that baby is his or not his. I can tell you that. <laughs> so, I missed everyone saying hello. I apologize. I really wanted to say thank you to everyone. Call me for your own personal readings, 818-985-2010. I am that good, toot toot. <laughs> Pat myself on the back, drop the crystal ball. <laughs> All of that. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, I will stop from doing Tupac and I, I was like, you know what? Maybe I don't need to check that. <laughs> Cause you, you guys know, I'm gonna see it. But for some reason, somebody didn't want me to see it and I just took it. And then right after that, oh, I'll tell everybody. Right after that, I got a letter from the Illuminati. And the Illuminati said, please join us. That's what the, I don't know if it was a joke. I don't know, but they were like, we want you. <laughs> and I was like, mm -mm. no, 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 no. So, I don't know. I don't know. I'm very suspect. I don't know if there is an Illuminati. I don't care if there's an Illuminati. Um, I'm not joining the Illuminati. So, Illuminati, if you're watching, I'm not joining. Mm. <laughs> Can't make me join. Join. <laughs> worse people <laughs> no I'm not gonna no I'm not gonna listen I'm not doing anything with the Illuminati I'm not even Jesus only right I'm not gonna give you guys any information other than the fact that right after I mentioned Tupac they were like please join hi I was like mm -mm, I'm scared mm -mm, that's like the Scientology mm -mm. although I have to tell you I've been okay so I'm the type of person, I will invest in all religions. I have no interest in talking about any religion until I've had my own education. So I've gone to Thai Buddhist um, places and pray the way they pray. I invest. I wish I can go to the country so I can just immerse myself in, you know, Buddhist uh, uh, mannerisms. Um, and then I've, you know, I've been Catholic, I've been Baptist, I am, uh, what am I now? Uh, Presbyterian, I really like the Presbyterian. Presbyterians are really, really 
they're just very PC. They're very nice people. I like them. Um, sometimes Baptist is not so PC because they don't like gays, and I can't stand bad rhetoric on, on gay people. It just doesn't hit my spirit very well. So not every Baptist, but, you know, there is some sort of protocol. Oh, thank you. It's a, it used to be earrings, and now it's, uh, I lost one earring. I made it into a necklace. Hi, Kella, K.L. Miss Bossy. Um, but I've invested in Judaism as an education, Buddhism, wait, wait, Buddhism, did I say it right, guys? Hmm, I didn't hear about that. Hmm, um, I won't talk about stuff like that on the air because it just incites, you know, some crazy folks out there, but, uh, I'll look it up. Um, Buddhism, Buddhism. Uh, oh, oh, and I've gone to Scientology and I've had a tour of the building and um, and they have these all these weird rooms in Scientology and they tried to get me, they didn't try to get me to join. I think they liked my son. They liked my son because I think they needed a black rapper like who kind of looked because my son has this, like when you meet him, he has this clean look about him like people just love him and so I think they were like oh he could be like the black part of our team like the black like we need a black although they do have that um what's that one rapper that's on the oh I don't care but in any case they do have the one female rapper but in any case um but in any case <laughs> so but they had to get to me so for some reason they knew so they made a beeline to me and then they had me tour the whole uh, building and sell me and the only thing that told, uh, turned me off is that he couldn't remember my son's name and he had a hard name and I could remember his hard name and so when he said my son's name for like the third time I said to him get it right and then I repeated his name whatever it was at the time and I was like funny how I can remember your name but you can't make the effort to remember my son's name. So that's an indication that there's a problem. So if you're dating someone out there and they just want to call you baby <laughs> or sweetie, um, they have no interest in knowing your name. If they don't have any interest in knowing your name, he ain't yours. So don't get it twisted. In any case, I don't know how we got there. <laughs> and all the heart stopped. <laughs> Keisha Knight Pullman. Is this baby that you're carrying Ed Hartwell's baby? Let's make it simple. Is it his baby? I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I'm the only one that can tell you. Oh, by the way, I was binge watching my own videos. And before Periscope came along, I was very calm. I was very calm. And then after Periscope came along, my, I got this high-pitched voice I got very excitable and I kind of like the old Tracy so guys I'm gonna go back to that calm person okay Keisha Knight Pullman now I heard from my psychic detective that Keisha and his um, Ed's ex I forget what her name is um, were best friends but well, they were good friends. And that maybe Keisha went behind her back and all of a sudden he's, she's married to him and pregnant and the ex didn't know anything and they had been friends. I really couldn't understand what the problem was until one of my psychic detectives was like, oh no, 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 this was, this was some intimate stuff going on, you know, between the females, like they were friends. So, sad, really. All right, is, I want to keep it simple. Is the baby that Keisha is carrying Ed Hartwell's? Well, she certainly feels lost and confused. She certainly feels lost and confused. She is getting, she is feeling sorry that she ever slept with him, by the way. She is feeling that. Um, I feel like the baby just came. 
You know, I think the baby, then the marriage. Um, I do believe that in the beginning, this was genuine, genuine partnership, genuine alliance, that there was some sort of agreement. So uh, getting married was important. I also believe that um, Lisa, Lisa, Lisa Wool. I think Lisa Wool and Ed had an unscrupulous relationship. I think the reason why Lisa's not making too much big of a deal of it because Lisa has some dirty stuff going on out there that she doesn't want Ed to reveal. So she is smart enough just to stay quiet. She also has money out there, money out there that she doesn't want to lose. The Five of Pentacles is a failure card. It's a failure card. You know, I almost kind of want to say no. I think that Keisha does not know who the baby daddy is. I think she does not know. Um, I think that there may have been some conversation. Darn it, I didn't pull enough cards. Did I? Again, there's this big regret of having slept with this guy. I think Lisa is going to have something to say. I know she's been rather quiet lately. I do see Keisha defending herself. And we found out yesterday that she thought it was okay to go on live um, E! Entertainment or Access or Entertainment Tonight, I think it was, um, to defend herself. She does believe she has the right to defend herself. And the cards do indicate that she does, she, it's more than likely Ed's baby, more than likely. But there is a time frame that's being um, suspect here. There is a time frame. So I feel like, hmm, I'm not quite getting my answer. I guess she's having a girl. Um... This is the test. This is the girl, right? This is family, but it falls in my past. This is the girl, and this is I'm so scared. At this stage of the game, I'm so scared. Um, the two of wands is a wait period. The ships are coming in. This is like magic. She's hoping that this, I feel like this is the test. The test is going to come out positive. I think she is scared. I think she is scared. I also think that she was, I also think that money's involved, and I think her little kitty group that she has, Camp Kitty, I think she's afraid of not being a positive role model, so it's not her fault if the guy acts crazy, and that's why she went on public TV yesterday, to save face for the long haul of her career. Um, but her tail is between her legs, or is his tail between his legs? Maybe his tail is... Does anybody know Ed Hardwell's sign? Does anybody know if he is a... an air sign? Does anybody know? Where is everybody? Did you all just... Am, am I taping? Yeah, I guess... I'm, am I frozen? Oh, no. Please don't let me be frozen. Am I frozen, guys? I don't see anything. No light. Oh, man. I'm going to stop because I, I don't know what happened. Hi, guys. I hope you guys can see me. Okay. You guys are coming back. I, I don't know if you guys were talking to me. It just stopped. What in the hell is going on with my phone today? It's not frozen for anybody, I realize. But it was frozen for me, which was really weird because I couldn't get any responses. Ed's a Gemini. Yeah! Okay, so Ed. Ed. Oh, I, you know, I thought I was going to ream Keisha. I thought I was going to ream her. Ed. Hi, I'm back. Yes, I was able to see you. I wasn't able to see you. She said he cheated. Okay. I think... Okay, I'm going to call it, guys. <laughs> I think this is Ed's baby. I really think this was Ed's baby. 
I think it's his baby. I think it's his baby. I really think it's his baby. I totally expected to read Keisha. I really, really did. But, guys, oh, thank you. So inspired by me. <laughs> thank you. No, 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 no. Yeah, I was looking to see if Keisha had some text messages or something that gave him, Ed, a reason to like pull this pull this um i believe that keisha got pregnant i believe she wanted to save face i think in the moment he too wanted to save face and it was easier to get married to her I think that there is another woman involved because I get this spicy woman. She hasn't shown up yet, but I get this spicy woman that could come to Ed's defense or they could find out who she is and then she has to defend herself. I think that Ed may have cheated, most likely. I think that, um, I think he wanted to get out. To be honest with you, I get that once he was married to Keisha, he just didn't see himself with her, really. And he, I, I, I think she knew all along. I think she knew right after the marriage that he wanted to leave. I think she tried to negotiate with him and I think she tried to convince him to stay until after the baby and then decide, like, let's just see. I think he didn't like sleeping next to her. I think it was really bad, like, the minute it went down. I think he made a spontaneous decision. I believe he may have been coerced into it, to be honest with you. I know that sounds a little crazy, but when I say coerced, it could be like, maybe drugs maybe like something added to the situation and then it was like baby i love you let's get married i love you let's get married and then he woke up married you know it wasn't i'm not getting did, did they have a big wedding he said he's impulsive see yeah okay did they have a big wedding or did they go to vegas no yeah so yes yes they had a big wedding no they had a big wedding no no carlene no yes they had a wedding like a real wedding oh at her house private wedding huh people are disappointed in keisha huh yeah there's something that she's trying to salvage it's camp kizzy it's her image it's her acting like Keisha, seriously, you are your own real house, uh, not real housewives of Atlanta. You are your real love and hip hop Atlanta. Seriously, like you're your own drama at this point. Check you on the computer. Thank you. Those poor Cosby kids. Yeah, I think Cosby really messed up most of those kids. By the way, I'm telling you, you guys don't have to believe me, but to, in order to revive all of this ugly, all of this ugly has to come out first. And in order to revive, I didn't see the Keisha interview. I saw a little bit of it, and it just looked like fake tears to me, which is why I thought I was going to ream her, because it just didn't look real to me. But, you know, I have to listen to the cards, and the cards are saying that it, it's going to be Ed's baby. Um, I think once all of this is said and done, that she's going to once again need to show that she is in a public eye or something something about her public image i think she is going to have something to say about bill cosby so ironically the baby in the family is the one that's going to squeal he had someone else he was engaged a month before she wanted a baby so bad he's a scammer she might be doing a re oh i'm telling you if she's doing a reality show or something like that this is this is part of image control damage control blah 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 
sort of like Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, um, pathetic, and it's sad, and Keisha, whatever. You guys have to stop looking at her like the little girl in the Cosby. She's a grown-ass woman that's making grown-ass mistakes, period. Um, but she does have the Camp Kizzy, and that's the thing that's going to work against her. You know, America's sweetheart needs to be squeaky clean. All right, I'm getting confused now. The bottom line is... The bottom line is Ed along, went along with this marriage with some sense of passion. He went along with it with some sense of passion. He went along with it, I have to be honest with you, as an alliance or a partnership. One thing's clear here, there's no love. There is no love. Um, I'm not getting that, there is confusion. There is confusion. I'm not getting that, oh, there goes the love card. Keisha might love him. She's hoping to revive this relationship with this guy, Ed. She's hoping to save face. Um, she is coming across very foolish instead of everybody feeling sorry for her. But, you know, reality with Lala, I saw your face and you were very compassionate feeling for Keisha and... I think everybody's acting. Something about this, all of this, just doesn't feel authentic. Even you, Lala, and I love you, Lala, but you know, there was just too much compassion for her case. Um, but it is humiliating. So, Ed, Ed, I think this is your baby. <laughs> I really do. I really think this is your baby. I really do. Maybe he got married because there was a reality show coming out. Maybe old boy needs money. Maybe he woke up from it and was like, I must be crazy sticking with this woman. I really, really feel he does not like her. Not like seriously. I can't see him coming back to her. I just can't see it. One more time. Work with me, guys. Is the baby that Keisha's carrying at... I need a good answer, God. Please. Please, God. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Please, God, talk to me. Talk to me. Reveal this to me. I need your help, God. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Um... Is this Ed's baby? I want to say yes. I really do. I want to say yes. Um, you know, there's something about this drama that involves money. I'm sorry. It just does. It involves money. Oh, it's so pathetic. I think all parties concerned are pathetic. There's something about money. Does anybody know Big Tigger's... Uh, is his name Big Tigger? What's his sign? Fix it, Jesus. Fix it, Jesus. Oh. Oh, God. What a dummy. Hey, girls. Hey, girls. <laughs> oh, my God. Please stop with these guys that use you. Please stop. It's he's just a penis. Stop. It's just. Oh, oh my God. He's broke. He's broke. This card tells me that he, Tracy tickets gay. Okay, which Chica didn't want to have a baby with her. Walking penis. Tickets a Capricorn. Oh, see, see, King of Pentacles is a Capricorn. Da 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 man. But in this case, the King of Pentacles, I don't believe is Tigger. The King of Pentacles is Ed Hartwell holding money. Okay? Um, there's some sort of offer here. God. Some sort of offer here. This was not planned. This was not executed. None of this is like for a reality show to sell. Because this is the most embarrassing thing anybody could do for a reality show. And if this is 
you know, plan so you can get some attention for a reality show, both you, Keisha, and Ed, then shame on you. Shame on all of you, because you're all disgusting. Um, this was a plan on Ed's part. And I'm telling you, there's another woman that's going to come up and invite some more steam to this. Okay? This is also, this is my cheating card. My cheating card. So when she got married, um, and this is also my temper tantrum card. So I think she threw a temper tantrum when she found out she was pregnant. I'm still going to stick to, I really, really believe that it's Ed's baby. Um, I don't want to do uh, Phaedra. I, I, I don't want to do it. Because it's too scary, all this. I don't, I'm scared. Oh, God, I can't. <laughs> I can't. Just, she's scary. Um, this is sneakiness. This is sneakiness. Um, this is conflict. This is having a choice of going in two directions. And it's two different women that are complete opposites of one another. Complete opposites. Whoever this girl is, she is going to reveal herself. Watch. Um, I keep getting regret that she is so sorry she ever slept with him, but she is strong enough to get through this. Um, you know, Keisha, I think the ships are coming in for you. I think if you be a little patient, real love is coming to you. And real love is coming around the work environment. I think another guy is going to step up to the plate. I think he's a water sign guy. He might have his own children. He may not have a lot of money, Keisha, but he is going to be a nice guy. I think that you, no matter what, are going to live in this experience and stay in his past and just wish that Ed had stepped up to the plate. But when this new guy comes along, my prayer for you is that you see the guy for who he is because he's a conscientious, responsible, emotionally kind guy. So... Um, the decision will be rendered as to whose baby this is. There's a lot of pain here, a lot. Keisha, apparently you're not sleeping. Do me a favor, get some sleep. Nothing is going to change right now other than the fact that he has left and you still need to carry a healthy baby. So, with all that being said, you can keep going in the public eye to prove something to everyone. Or you could just shut the hell up and live with your baby and bring about a healthy, viable little girl. And then teach her, you know, the signs when a pathetic man comes to you. It's just a penis, people. <laughs> Somebody, I don't know. Atlanta has some, you know, there are things. Atlanta's evolving. And Atlanta doesn't know where it wants to land. So where Atlanta used to be a good old southern town, there's so many immigrants in Atlanta, Im 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 immigrants, immigrants in Atlanta, and they keep changing the dialogue that goes on in Atlanta. You know, you got men on the down low other over there. You got a huge entertainment industry that is unscrupulous. Like, L.A. is the saint place. It really is saint, you know, angels now. Because Atlanta is like, what is they, didn't they call it dirty something? Atlanta is evolving. And it keeps evolving. And it's not evolving in a healthy manner. So, dirty south. What finally happens with Atlanta it just depends. And I don't want to talk about Atlanta because there's a lot of people that live there. But I would say get your moral compass in order because there's too many people off their kilter. Now, I know people from Atlanta, and I know some good-ass people from Atlanta. And yet what's overriding all that goodness, all that grown, southern grown, you know, goodness <clears throat> is some of the new immigrants that are coming there. Sorry. I really think there's too many out-of-towners. I wouldn't move to Atlanta today because there's too many out-of-towners. Out of and I'm going to be very honest with you guys. Too many damn New Yorkers. Sorry. I'm going to call it. And I'm a native New Yorker. So you can like me if you don't like me. I'm a native New Yorker. Too many New Yorkers over there. 
all right? And they came with their spirit. They came with their grunginess. And they're over there acting one way and telling New Yorkers, I got a big house in Atlanta, but it's kind of suspect. You know, who you, who you really are is kind of suspect because your people in New York are believing what's coming out of your mouth. So, I don't know. I'm done. I'm going to stick to it. I believe the baby is Ed's. So, Keisha, how are you going to prove that? Really? How are you going to prove it? Because I think you could have a really hard time getting Ed to take that test. But I think the courts could make him take it, ultimately. So, again, I may not be right until not even when the baby's born. Because I think Ed's going to avoid it. Seriously. I know paternity tests, I get that, but I know the court system and guys can avoid it and avoid it and avoid it. And some courts, two years in, if you don't do the right thing, some courts make you own the baby regardless. So, I don't know. Just like we never found out about Courtney's baby. Okay? Isn't it funny how that daddy disappeared when he got paid off well, right? Right, Courtney? <laughs> that baby's not Scott's. Not that first one. Mm -mm. No, 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 sir. But uh, that daddy disappeared. So there is a way to evade the system. And, you know, with a good lawyer, you know, there is a way to, to not prove. Yeah, see? Mm -hmm. Everybody's shocked, right? Yeah, that, ba that baby is not Courtney's, who Courtney says it is. It's not Scott's. And I think a lot of that has to do with Scott's drinking and their marriage and why they never got married. I'm sorry. I'm calling it. Oh, by the way, I also call the fact that both Lamar and Scott would fall off the wagon, and they both did. Trust me, that baby ain't Scott's. All right. Oh, Tatiana Ali. Okay. Which one doesn't belong to him? The, the boy. The boy. The first one. The boy doesn't, right? Not the girl. The boy. She has three kids. I think it's the oldest that doesn't that doesn't belong to him. Mason. It's Mason. Yeah. Hey, Kelsey. Kelsey, you are hilarious. I don't even know how you could be that funny. Kelsey, what's your sign? Because you are hilarious. All right, guys. This is breaking news. I'm disgusted with all parties concerned. Um... Uh, I'm going to call the official word. Ed, that baby's yours. <laughs> that baby's yours. You didn't use a condom. That baby's yours. Um, I, think you're Ed, I think you're disgusting, Ed, so good luck with your life. Karma does come back around. Always does. And Miss Lil Keisha Knight Coleman, you're going to try and clean up this act one more time. And when all is said and done, I think she's got something to tell about Bill Cosby that's going to really, really, really hit the fan. <laughs> I gotta go guys I gotta take my dog to the vet Love you I'm gonna merge both both videos okay Name all Oh why STI S What's STI is Boom boom bang you did. Oh I love you too Thank you love Katefully What a cute name Bye guys Bye die the queen Bye talk to you soon guys Love you love you love you Bye